So for those of you who may have missed the announcement, the HDMI forum, which is a group of technology people who decide on the HDMI spec for the cable for the hardware, which uses which most of our video devices use these days, our TVs, our Blu-ray players, and so on, they have settled on the next generation of HDMI specs, which is going to be HDMI 2.1. Currently, we're up to 2.0, which has like an A, B, and C variant, and this supports up to 4K 60 FPS, which is what current modern devices are using for your 4K TVs and things like that. I actually just got back there a 4K HDR TV, and so I had to get new HDMI 2.0 cables to support a couple of the devices I'm hooking up to it because my older cables don't work with them. And this is where I'm actually going to bring up some concerns. So I'm going to cover the specs that is here, although you may have heard them before, but I actually have some serious concerns for the implications of this, and I'm not as excited as everyone else is. So HDMI 1.4, which was kind of the 1080p standard that we were rolling with for a while, supported a maximum bandwidth, which is the data transfer rate of 10.2-ish gigabits per second, which was enough for 1080p 60 and uh, a, a couple other resolutions, but was fairly basic, but was all we needed back in 2009. Well, moving forward for 4K stuff, they needed to update the spec, and we got HDMI 2.0, which carried HDR, depending on which version of 2.0 you're on. It carries up to 4K 60, whereas the previous version could only carry 4K 30, and had a bandwidth of 18 gigabits per second, so roughly 7 to 8 more gigabits per second transfer speed through the cable, allowed enough room for 4K 60 hertz for your HDR ultra high def TVs. We get our 4K Blu-ray players, our 4K PS4 Pro and Xbox One. Good to go, right? Well, they decided they wanted to go further, which is fine. We're, they're always trying to develop new technology and things like that. And so the new cable makes a massive 30 megabit per second jump from 18 to 48 gigabit per second bandwidth on the cable, which is insane. That is a ridiculous amount of bandwidth. Like, we could use that. Like, if we could just use HDMI transfer speed for, like, networking at that point, <laughs> that's, that's that's faster than Thunderbolt 3. So, that's really, really cool. And this allows it to support some new things. 8K resolution at 60 hertz, which is 7680 by 4320. You'll notice there is not a single 8000 number in there. That 7680 is quite a far away from 8K, but hey... Um, and you also get 4K at 120 hertz, which is pretty cool. Great for high refresh gaming. And speci specifically at high refresh, uh, although it's not 144, but the this new technology actually allows HDMI to finally carry variable refresh rates. So basically G-Sync and Adaptive Sync and things like that. They don't Obviously those require specific technologies, but the ability to do that through HDMI is enabled with this new standard. Uh, which can, of course, help smooth out frame stuttering and input latency and screen tearing and things like that. Uh, it also enables quick media switching, which apparently can help reduce the like a blank screen before media is shown. I've always thought that was just the display controller, the processing on the display that causes that. Like if it changes resolution, there's a delay before you see anything because the display processor is processing. Uh, so I don't know how significant an impact the specific cable will have in that. Um, and then there's also quick frame transport technology, which apparently just reduces latency for more real, closer to real time latency, which is really cool. And then they, <laughs> and then they say that there's support for resolutions up to 10K for commercial audio video, but their 10K resolution is like really, really wide, but not any taller. So it's kind of like how DCI 4K is wider than normal ultra high def 4k and dci 2k is wider than 1080p this is just like really wide 8k which is a little weird and not something most of us are ever going to see or use uh the new cables will be uh have super low emi emission and be backwards compatible so which they've always been so you can use your new hdmi 2.1 cable with everything else and just have extra speed just in case so basically once these come out you'll want to ditch all your existing hdmi cables and buy up a bunch of new ones, which I literally just placed my mono price order for a bunch of replacement HDMI 2.0 cables. So this is where I'm already starting to get annoyed. There, there may be a couple other features that I'm missing, but the big deal, of course, is 8K60 support, 4K120 support, 
and just uh, oh, and dynamic high, high HDR. I don't know what dynamic HDR is yet. We don't have like I'm sure I could look it up and there's something, but basically just a more frame by frame dynamic range adjustment, which is kind of cool. Uh, so so obviously technology increasing, getting better is a good thing. I don't have a problem with that. Excited to see what comes of it. I don't think we'll see any true 4K 120. HDMI displays anytime soon. Like, I don't see the point, especially by the time this gets adopted. This is just, this is literally the standard just being adopted. That means they haven't made the cables. They We obviously don't have any display devices that support it. We don't have any output devices that support it. It won't be kicking in for probably a couple more years. But that's the problem, is we've just started to adopt HDMI 2.0. Now, input specific signal aside because we could get around that okay the next wave of tvs and devices being sold will just update to the new spec you won't have to worry about it move along other than your old cables will stop working which is always an annoyance not the biggest deal in the world the problem comes in is that every time they do this there's a new encryption standard so we had basic hdcp with hdmi 1.4 then they updated it to like 2.1 or something with hdmi 2.2 which rendered all of your existing audio, video, like resolution aside, the HDCP encryption, the DRM that prevents, that's supposed to prevent piracy but doesn't at all, uh, even if you were still running 1080p, the new stuff has a new encryption standard, which then renders all of your previous equipment useless if you're trying to make them compatible. AV switchers, HDMI switchers, uh, receivers for your surround sound, TVs, all of that, unless they're set up specifically to talk in specific ways or you have a good HDC, HDCP stripper from like HD Fury or something, it doesn't work. And so that's what we're going to get again, most likely. Now they haven't said it, it's nowhere here in the spec, they haven't said it just yet, but this is pretty much what always happens, and actually I'm going to do a double check HDCP, yeah, nothing is mentioned. Um, pretty much every time they update the standard, there's a new HDCP standard, which means thousands upon thousands of dollars per household of gear probably that has been invested is going to be rendered useless in a couple more years because we're already jumping standards. And this is my problem with the whole, like, lack of standardization transition that we're in indefinitely because we're, like, we had a good 10 years of 1080p, but now we're just like, 4K, 8K, 120 hertz, new HDCP, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's it's changing really rapidly in this small block of time here that if you're investing in this time, you're potentially wasting money because... Within a couple of years, there's going to be more hardware to change things up. And that is really annoying. And I have a huge stick up my butt, so to speak, with regards to this kind of DRM in the first place. It makes absolutely zero freaking sense. And they've been so obnoxious ever since HDMI was introduced about how digital streaming DRM works. And I'm getting really fed up with it at this point. So first of all, When we made the transition away from analog video, a lot of modern devices stopped letting you watch HD content over analog connections. And it's not because the analog connections couldn't support it like you could in Component. It's not because the the actual media player you're watching on couldn't downscale it effectively. It could do that. Like the PS3, you cannot watch Blu-rays over certain connection types after a certain model of PS3. And it's not because the PS3 couldn't handle it. It's because... They just put in a new HD, you know, encryption rule that you can't do that to prevent piracy. I'm sorry, but in what world do you live in where any sort of significant source of pirated Blu-rays comes from capturing it via composite or as video? Yes, let me get that awesome 1080p high-def Blu-ray disc and capture it in 480i. Like, at that point, just DVDs. At that point, VHS. Like... It, it, it doesn't make any sense. And like this HDCP stuff in general, this doesn't stop any sort of significant pirates. They're either ripping discs directly, they're either ripping it from the website directly, or they're just stripping HDCP anyway. So all this does is make lives, especially the, the new HDCP with the HDMI 2.0 has actually caused a lot of handshake. The, the HDCP makes a handshake to say, hey, you're okay to display the signal. There's a lot of issues now with modern sets, especially if you involve receivers for surround sound, of that handshake not happening right and it taking like 50 million power cycles to get people's equipment to display signals. And 
all of this to prevent, like, one casual pirate that may have been like, I wonder if I can record this. Why? It, uh, it's so anti-consumer. It is so incredibly just obnoxious. It's pointlessly in obtrusive that it just drives me up a wall. So, yes, I'm excited for any possibility of an increasing technology to make things better, and I'm a pixel junkie, so I love more pixers, pixels or higher quality pixels, as the Xbox team likes to say. But I'm terrified of how quickly our gear is going to change out and be rendered useless by this just new standard. And that is really incredibly frustrating. So just wanted to share a slightly uh, alternate perspective that a lot of people are not talking about when they're making their videos about the new HDMI standard. I, I, I don't look a whole lot into this stuff. I just know that this is uh, the change is coming, and I'm not looking forward to that part of it at all, especially since, again, I did just buy a budget 4K HDR TV. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Get subscribed for more awesome tech videos and the occasional rant like this. Have a happy holiday season, and I'll see you next time. This video is sponsored by viewers like you. Our videos would not be possible without the generosity of those of you who contribute to one of our fan funding options via DonorBox, Twitch subscriptions, direct contributions via PayPal, or Patreon. To join our inner circle and get behind-the-scenes looks at videos, go to eposvox.com support to learn more, and join us on Discord at eposvox.com Discord. Thanks!